Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how I made this Jamaican style it's stewed peas which was cooked down in some rich coconut milk, pimento seeds, fresh herbs and spices and a whole scotch bonnet pepper. This was just absolutely delicious. So for my ingredients, I'm going to be using some nice salted pig's tail along with some red kidney beans and in Jamaica red kidney beans is called red peas hence the name stewed peas i'm going to give these beans a nice proper wash and you really want to wash your beans just to remove any dirt and any little extra particles now to this i'm going to add some water along with some chopped garlic and the garlic not only adds flavor but it helps it tenderizes the beans so now i'm going to cover this down i'm going to allow this to boil so while the beans are boiling, I'm going to wash these pig's tail. And if you're not a fan of pork, any meat kind could use. Salted beef is also a favorite. I'm going to put these into a pot of water. I'm going to allow these to boil for about 15 minutes just to remove that excess salt. So about 15 minutes of boiling and all that brine that extra salt have been removed now i'm going to give this a rinse now i'm going to add this to the pot of boiling beans so both could cook together also to this i'm going to add some pimento seeds yes also known as allspice berries which give this two piece that distinctive delicious flavor i'm going to cover this under the lowest heat and i'm going to allow this to cook until everything is nice and tender and this may take about one to two hours slowly cooking about one and a half hours of slowly cooking the beans are nice and tender the meat is nicely cooked the stew have taken on the beautiful color of the beans this is looking good and it's not even done cooking as yet now it's time to season up this pot now to this i'm going to add one cup of coconut milk yes and this gives this two piece that awesome flavor also going to add some fresh kelen and thyme a whole scotch bonnet pepper and some pimento peppers for flavor so also to this i'm going to add some all-purpose seasoning you're going to season your pot to taste you're going to taste you're going to add some salt if needed but this was just perfect this was just absolutely delicious now i'm going to cover this under the lowest heat and i'm going to allow this to simmer while i make some dumplings and these dumplings are called spinners yes and to all that's needed is some flour a bit of salt and some water i'm going to knead this into a tight firm dough ball and there is no way you could have a pot of stew peas without some spinners it just wouldn't be the same now that we have created a nice dough ball i'm just going to pinch small pieces i'm going to roll that between the palm of my hands just like this i'm gonna add those in and these spinners dumplings not only complete this dish but it adds texture to the stew giving it that thickness i'm gonna give this a stir i'm gonna cover this and i'm gonna allow it to cook for another 10 minutes So about two hours of cooking time the overall time was about two hours but you could definitely reduce the time if you use a pressure cooker and there you have it jamaican style stewed peas absolutely delicious let's gonna remove these kellyans they have already done their job and you could have this with anything of your choice but the most common thing to have it with is some hot buttery plain rice i'm gonna have this with some plain rice and this was just oh my goodness this was just absolutely tasty a full written recipe will be listed down below in the description box and i just want to thank you so very much for watching